another update, guys. I just got the stuff in the mail from uh, Chase Base to start doing more of the Coyote Swap. Uh, so I'm going to be opening that up and installing it today and then hopefully doing a test fit again. Okay, so we've got the main piece here. I've got the proportioning valve as well with the formed line already. And we got some stickers. So that's about it. Yep, nothing else. No instructions. So, this thing. This is just supposed to go right here. It's going to be pretty sleek. I don't know, it'll look good. I got to take some of this padding out, it looks like, because it'll hit. And then I have to basically take this nut off and then on my stock master cylinder like cut off the clevis and weld it onto this nut. So instead of doing that because I want to sell it hopefully, I'm just going to go get a piece of metal and drill a hole in it and then I'll just weld it on that way I can make my own. So basically this is where it sits, it's just, it's, it's loose, it's not really actually in there. Uh, so I gotta hook everything up anyways. But it definitely gives me a lot more room compared to the brake booster which like came out to here and just way out. So I'm going to put the motor in and see how close we are now and see if there's any other clearancing problems. This I bent back a little bit just because it was sticking way out and I got to probably reroute my e-brake lines because it's going to have to come from this side now. There's no point in going across the engine going through like I originally did. So I'll probably just go straight through here and clean it up a little bit. Alright, so here's where we're at. I think this is roughly where the motor's gonna sit in the car. It's decently low. I don't think, I mean, it might stick a little bit out to it, but that's not really a problem, I guess. Uh, basically, I've got very little room for header clearance, but you can see in there, there is kind of a little bit of room. The motor's sitting a little crooked, so I gotta kind of straighten it, straighten it out a little bit. Anyways. This is where I'm at right now. So, subframe's lowered. There's this little notch in the oil pan, like right here, this notch. So basically, the Moroso pan has that little notch kind of cut out of it, basically. And it's hard to do with the camera, but Basically, if I went straight up with a subframe right here, which is right on that mark, about, I don't know, an inch, an inch and a half, which is roughly what that is, I think it'll fit. Might have to raise the motor up just a tad, but I still have a little bit of clearance going up in the engine bay, and then the tunnel as well, I have a little bit of clearance yet, so it might be good. Alright, so the motor right now is sitting on some blocks of wood and the trans is supported on the back as well. I just wanted to check some hood clearance and see if I'm going to have to do anything with that. So, we'll see here. Look at that. So, I might have to jack it up a little bit just because of my whole subframe front subframe and oil pan clearance issue that I talked about earlier. Once I get the Moroso pan in there, I'll see where it sits. And then also I need to make sure I have enough clearance for the shifter, but as of right now, it looks like it fits. All right, well, I'm extremely excited to get it this far uh, tonight. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the oil pan to get a little extra clearance down there. Um, if you look in the front here, it sits pretty well in there. It's not that big of a deal width-wise. It's definitely got a little bit of room on the sides here. So it's not terrible. Um, headers might be an issue. But hood closes, motor's in. Gonna have to raise a little bit and figure out the oil pan issue. So it should be good.